Michael Chandler, mystic or delusional? Now, I got to return the favor. I did a topic on this earlier in the week about Conor McGregor with that very question. Because Conor was talking about he still hopes to fight in December. Now, December is one pay-per-view that we've been told about, which has a main event, which is Leon versus Colby. So either Conor misspoke, didn't know that that news was out, which would be very unlikely. He's very on top of things. Or they're discussing a second pay-per-view that month that hasn't been revealed to us yet. Or he's out of his mind. So we're just discussing. We're just trying to figure out which one it is. Now, Chandler has not let up on the idea that Conor's next. He has not let up on this. And I would understand fully why you would work so hard on that. I, I, I really would. I, I support that in every possible way. I'll just share with you to play devil's advocate. It doesn't matter how well you do on social media. Once Dana comes out and tells the world, that's the fight, the end. And he doesn't do that often. But when he does it, you can count on it. So, and he's done that in this situation. He has let the world know when Connor came out, he began to troll, and I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight Oliveira for the title back when Oliveira was the champion. I'm going to come out. I'm going to, it's me and Khabib again. It's me and Nate Diaz. Welcome back, Nate. It's, you know, he's doing, having his fun. And Dana let it go and he let it ride. But on this one, he did come out and clear it up. And I think he did that out of respect to Chandler. Like, hey, man, I fully understand your situation. And just so you're not at home with a sweaty brow, if this dude comes back, meet him McGregor. Red Panty Night is going to be yours. I don't know that he's coming back, but if he does, he will come back to one offer an opponent, and it's you. Okay, great. I, I only say that because that's the assurance that Chandler needs. That's the whole reason that he's going out to the media and he's staying on Connor. But once he got that assurance, I don't know from a psychological standpoint why He's staying on Connor. I know why to attach himself. I know why to mention him here and there. I know why to remind people. But it's a situation where you look very desperate. And Chandler hasn't done Chandler doesn't look desperate. But over a period of time, he for sure will. Right now, he looks hungry. He looks interested. He's in the gym training, working hard, getting ready because he respects and knows he's got a challenge in front of him. I think he's done a good job of telling that story. But Dana came out recently, yesterday, talked about it in the media, and he said if Michael Chandler gets restless, we will give him another fight. I believe his exact words is the organization will figure something out, but that means we'll give him another fight. Because Dana's saying, look, this is a prize fighter. To get the prize, he's got to fight. And he's been sitting a long time. Got this great opportunity out there. It's the one that he wants. It's the one we're going to give him. But all we can do is our side of it, right? All we can do is when the time comes and the opponent comes is put them together. We can't force those things to happen. I, I think we all understand this. So it just seems like a position where if you're, if you're copying the guy that's going to be your opponent, right? You're copying the king. Red Panty Knight is real. Everybody that goes to social media and tries to build a fight has looked at and studied, to some regard, Conor McGregor. Well, okay, but if we're doing that and we acknowledge that's why we all, including Chandler, are on social media trying to build a fight, if we acknowledge that, we got to do it the way he does it. And he will mention, here and again, Michael Chandler. But in between that, he will talk about 15 other guys, and, and that's one of the significant differences. When Conor McGregor says we're going to do it at 170 and Chandler comes out and says, deal, I understand how that's supposed to look. Deal. We'll go bare knuckle. You can bring a friend. I, 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 I get it. But then when he, Conor comes back and says we're going to do it at 155, you say, bet. Comes back and says, let's do it at 185. The holidays are coming. Done, I'm in. When he starts calling all of the shots and changing it, and all of a sudden you can only kick with your right leg and you can only punch with the left hand. I mean, how weird do you want to get? 
None, none of your stipulations and conditions are a deal. You're going to do every goddamn thing under the rules, which are already established, and they're called unified. You want to change something? Call Mazzulli and the boys and get a resolution. Or sit there in Ireland and do nothing. I've been promised you, and I've been promised other fights. Turns out don't need you. Thought I did. Thought I needed you. But the boss just said, I don't. Promise me you're next if you come back. Turns out I can do something in between. So take your 170, take your 85, take your kicks, take your wrapped hands, take your December, take your USADA, take your 180, shove them up your ass.